Good morning. Mark here from Christ Church Video Team Ministry. Don't mind uh, a little cut on the forehead. Today the job of feeding the 4-H pig came to me and in the dark I ran into part of the barn. <laughs> but today's topic is on connections and comes to you not from me but from me being inspired by the Daily Bread devotional dated March 23rd. It's extremely important to have a daily devotional. It puts you in a framework of praising God, thanking Him for the day that you have been given, even if it causes some bruises along the way, and setting your heart on a path of servanthood, doing his will. Have you ever considered why you do some of the things that you do? I know I do all the time because Paul says we oftentimes do the things we don't want to do and don't do the things that we should. Why are you at good at some things and don't feel as accomplished in other areas? Well, many of these things came about because of the connections you have had throughout your life. Connections through your parents, grandparents, the people you have met, the many topics or skills that you have developed over the years, and even those connections you are continuing to develop today. As a chemistry student in high school, I never saw the connection that I needed to become highly successful in that field. Later in life, as a college student, I began to fully appreciate the lab applications of chemistry, and though, although I never fully succeeded in the theory part, I became highly proficient in the lab. Have you ever experienced a similar situation in life, in school? Or at work? Were you encouraged by a teacher, friend, classmate, parent, grandparent, or spouse to continue to strive forward? Scriptures can be an encouragement in your life, a daily opportunity to glean the words that God has given you for today and to apply those words to your experiences throughout life. They can motivate your connections with others through Bible study, Sunday school, worship services, and reading the holy inspired word of God. King David gave four truths found in Psalms 19, verses 7 and 8. They are as follows. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimonies of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. And the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Now let's apply something I learned from our new pastor of looking closely at scriptures and breaking them down into smaller pieces and in gleaning the actual heart of the verse. What four things can you pull from verses 7 and 8? Well, let's begin again and look at each verse. As each verse starts with a statement about the Lord. A fact. The law of the Lord is perfect. fact. The testimony of the Lord is pure. Fact. The statutes of the Lord are right. 
fact. And the commandment of the Lord is pure. Fact. Now, each of these statements alone can be an in-depth lesson. But there's more. The results are revealed from each of those facts. It's a little like cause and effect. For example, the law of the Lord is perfect. Effect, converting or refreshing the soul. Isn't that amazing? The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise simple or unfolding God's love. Now, if you look in the Bible, you'll find that in this particular verse, there's a little tiny F reference relevant to the word wise. And that refers you back to Psalms 119, 130. You might want to look that up. The commandments of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. And the commandment of the Lord is pure, opening our eyes. You see, without the scriptures... We can never fully experience all of the love, joy, and ways that God has planned for you and I to be in a fully intimate and perfect relationship with the Father. Christ gave you that opportunity through dying on the cross, through the saving of your soul, by the purifying of his blood, to wash your sins as white as snow, that he can intervene for you in regards to the Father. What more joy could you have? As you consider God's plans for you today, and you consider his word as light to your path, Look at the scriptures and learn to become wise as he enlightens you in your walk and you grow in his love for you. Amen. Have a blessed and fruitful day.